30, the debate over new gaming machines is leading to a legal fight in Frankfurt. Now, you may have noticed some new gaming machines popping up at local gas stations and bars in the last couple of years. The industry calls them games of skill, but opponents call them gray machines, <laughs> a reference to their murky legal status. As WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff reports, there's a fight brewing in Frankfurt over their future. If you've never seen one of these games before, this is it. The object of this particular one is to get three in a row. We put them in here and they've been great. People love them. Jared Matthews has some of the games at his sports bar and restaurant, the Fox Den in St. Matthews. I think it's just something entertaining, you know? I mean, people come to establishments like this to kind of kind of escape reality a little bit, shoot some pool, you know, relax, watch a game, and it just adds to it. It's just a fun game to sit down and play. But as the games have increased in popularity, a movement has emerged to ban them. If the legislature doesn't ban these gray game machines, we're going to be looking at the largest expansion of gambling in the history of Kentucky. Critics say these are games of chance, making them little more than slot machines. There's a something on the screen that says under 21, big uh, red dash, but the clerk behind the counter is not gonna monitor these machines. So you're gonna have, if we think kids playing them, that's been the experience in other states. You're going to have ready access for people who have gambling addictions. Supporters of the game say they do require skill. So by tapping that corner there, I made that a wild. To fend off a ban, they plan to propose legislation to regulate the games, limit how many can be in one business, and tax them at 6%. Well, we think uh, some of that money should go towards uh, oversight and regulation of the machines to make sure that everybody's operating on the same playing field. Um, uh, so, so money towards law enforcement, some of that money would go towards that, of course. For Matthews, the games also provide extra revenue during a tough time for the restaurant industry. So every little bit helps. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.